this is an HP Elite Pad 900G and in this video I'll show you how to install Windows 8.1 and download drivers for this Elite Pad. So I have here my USB hub, my adapter, an external keyboard and mouse and then a Windows 8.1 32-bit bootable USB drive. Set everything up and then press the volume down button and power button at the same time to enter the BIOS. Press or touch F9 for boot options and then select USB hard drive. Select the language and click next. Click on install now. You enter the product keys if you have it. Agree to the license term. Select custom install. You can decide to delete all your partitions and create a new one as I'm doing. It's your choice. Click apply. And then click next to start the Windows installation process. This will take a long time, so I'll skip part of this video to make the video short. Windows is almost done. You enter PC name, PC name, use express settings password and other things. The Windows is done. Now we are to download the drivers from the official HP website. You will use another laptop or you can do this on your phone and copy it to your HP Elite palette. I'll go to hp.com, click on support, click on softwares and drivers, laptop, and then enter the serial number of your HP Elite Pad. You can find the serial number beside the charger port or the adapter port on your HP Elite Pad. You enter the serial number and you click on submit. You should know that um, you should use a Windows 8.1 or Windows 8.32 bit for these types of HP for it to work. So I have Windows 8. I have the Windows 8.1 32-bit. Click on submit and then expand driver chipset and download BIOS slash firmware and driver update. After that download is done, you should expand driver network and then download wireless LAN driver for the Wi-Fi. The first uh, file will install the correct drivers for it but the wi-fi will be left out so you need the second one to correct that one transfer it to the hp elite pad via usb drive copy it copy it onto the desktop and then start with the drivers installation right click on the first one and run it as admin Click on yes, next, accept the license agreement terms, yes, next, next, this is just a normal process. The installation will take a long time, a while, so you should give it time to install it. You should be patient. You can see the power meter is showing, and the sound is also showing. Click on restart later because the drivers is not done installing. You should wait for it to install, then click on finish and restart the system now. The touch is now working. Sound is showing. Power meter is showing. But the Wi Fi isn't showing. So, right click on the second file. Run it as admin. Click yes. Next, next. Agree to the license terms. And the Wi Fi will also be installed.
the fi Wi Fi is now working as well. I hope this video was helpful.